The most common parking ticket in Spokane is the basic overtime violation or letting your meter expire. That ticket will cost you 15 bucks. So how does one go from owing that amount to being thousands of dollars in debt? It can unleash a wave of terrible feelings. Dread disgust, <laughs> nausea. When you know running late is about to cost you. Literally, I was one minute late. One minute late and I got a ticket. Oh, no, 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 no. They usually oh. grab the ticket and kind of hang their head down. $53, are you out of your mind? You can own up to it. Is that all? No. I have unpaid parking tickets. But not everyone is so willing. Be gentle. We've got over 200 outstanding parking tickets, Mr. Benedict. And Danny DeVito isn't the only one. We went on parking patrol and tracked down the most notorious offenders in Spokane who aren't paying up. And we discovered the numbers are staggering. In fact, the top 10 people owe a combined total of $73,000 in fines. Wow. That's crazy. Someone owes $11,000 in parking tickets. Does that surprise you? Well, yes. I mean, that's a lot of parking tickets, frankly. How would you even amass that amount? It's mind-boggling to me. We're not sure either, so we went knocking on doors to find out. But the answers were as elusive as the payments to the city. No one in the top ten wanted to talk on camera, although we did hear some excuses. More on that later. First, the breakdown. Violators 6 through 10 owe a combined total of $31,000, nearly 800 tickets in all. I have no idea how they how can owe that much. I think to get that many, it's at some point there becomes an effort, a concerted effort to try to get tickets. And here are the top five parking offenders. Combined, they skipped out on 1,092 tickets, a whopping total of 42,000 bucks. Number five is Sarah Heller, owing just over 6,900. Spot four belongs to Ian Wingate with 181 unpaid tickets. Three on the list is David Stark, more than $7,300 in debt. Number two is Sean Carmen. He has 275 tickets amounting to 9700 bucks. And Spokane's highest debtor, Matthew Hardy, 298 tickets and an unpaid balance of $10,670. But we discovered Hardy's is an extremely unusual case. He was killed in a crash several years ago. As a result, the city has forgiven his fines, but they stay on the books for 10 years. Remember, these are the registered owners of the vehicles, which isn't always the same person who committed the parking infraction, which brings me to those excuses. Their children tickets. Another woman said a friend was house-sitting for her and used her car, apparently enough to rack up $5,000 in fines. So you might be wondering, Goodbye. what happens if you don't pay? If these guys aren't paying their tickets, what can you guys do about it? Well, obviously, we try to work with folks, and um, which can be very unpleasant. Here, the city sends a half million dollars in unpaid ticket collections. Of that, about half gets paid off. Do we have a couple hundred thousand dollars that goes unpaid every year? Probably. Most people are honest, hardworking citizens, and they're going to pay those civil fines. We're going to have some people who refuse to pay or cannot pay. You just had your birthday. Well, your driver's license just expired. Happy birthday. Watch your head. There is one other punishment for not coughing up the green. The state can refuse to renew your license plates, making it pretty tough for you to drive at all. So the next time you pull up, remember to pay up. You might not end up in the slammer like DeVito, but you could make your way to the top of a not-so-flattering list. Maybe they're going for the Guinness Book of World Records. I have no idea, but that would be like, I guess, bragging rights for Spokane. And if you're wondering where the revenue from parking tickets goes, it's put into the city's general fund and helps pay for things like police, fire, libraries, and parks. Reporting in Spokane, Ashley Corsland, Crem2 News.